Our fellow traders, what's happening? Yeah, this is what I look like this morning. Man, I I blew my top and I started fracturing, you know, and, and over something that really wasn't that serious. Um, but it's it's all a mental thing. It's one of those mental issues that we've talked about time and time again that we face in trading. You know, I just happened to you know, kind of let it creep up on me. And now the screen on my calculator looks like this. You know, it's kind of cracked up like this. And the black LED is running and all that stuff. And that calculator has been with me since the beginning. So, you know, I, I don't know if I broke my good luck charm or what. I don't know. But we'll see. But it wasn't that it and you would not think that I would have had this type of meltdown because I had an incredible trade at the open. Textbook opening range trade. This what really what we look for. Um, you know, I did have a little hiccup. You know, I was I was so excited. The damn thing was working so good. The second um, when it hit the second target. I was, you know, wanting to click it to catch the price and that little nervous twitch, I double clicked it. You know, sometimes it actually flips my position. Um, this time I was taking off half of what I had left and the double click ended up taking me out the whole position, which ended up working out because it never did get to the third target I had. You know, it bounced. So, you know, actually... That little misclick worked work to my advantage. And I had a really solid trade. But I made a, a rookie mistake, I guess. You know, I let the expectation creep up. You know, I was patient, waited for the move, um, didn't fall for the fake, and took the continuation. And when it didn't work, Oh man, I lost it. And that's the that's why we can't have expectations on a trade for a trade basis. You know, that's one of the things that I learned from listening to Mark Douglas. You know, to not you know, you set the trade, it either works or it doesn't, you move on to the next. You have confidence in your strategy that over a period of time it works. I know it works. I made money off of it since 2015 2014 is when i started um kind of the middle of 2014 is when i started using the opening range so it's been working ever since and it has its highs and lows ups and downs like every other strategy but when you have unrealistic expectations and you look you're expecting each trade to work if you nail the setup then there's going to be some issues and today was a really good issue but the beautiful thing is based on what i've done in the past i knew exactly how to deal with that issue because the inexperienced trader would have turned around and started revenge trading and chasing this, chasing that, you know, trying to get it back. And I was smart enough and I knew what I needed to do in order to get myself back engaged and, you know, back on track. You know, we talked about it all boiled down to my journal. That's kind of what we talked about in our, our roadmap series today. And, you know, next week, we're going to actually, I'm going to actually do my journal with you guys. So hopefully I'll have some trades next Wednesday and we actually go through the whole process together. So you'll, you'll have a good, um, you have a good example to go by. And obviously there's so many different ways you can do it, but if you don't do it, it's going to be hard for you to get to where you want to go. 
you know, really hard. So if you guys weren't there for the class today, go back and watch it. It'll be posted here in about another 30, 40 minutes. Go back and watch it. Um, I really, really want you guys to understand how important it is <clears throat> to develop the skills that I shared with you today. And then look forward to next week when we when I actually take you through it. Um, but enough talking about today. Um, let's look at it. Let's look at some. Well, yesterday, I didn't get to do a recap. Yesterday was just full bar. Um, got held up at the school. Got back here late. And then had to turn around and go to another meeting. Um, we ended up, you know, hanging out after the meeting. And get back here after midnight everything resets so i couldn't do my charts or anything um but i did um, download it to trade of you today so you could at least see the trades that i took if you were in chat you saw them but for the my recap purposes you know for my journal purposes i had to use the um the trade of you all right, so tomorrow we're having another live stream. Um, it's free right there on on my YouTube channel. Right here on my YouTube channel. What am I talking about? It's free, live in real time. Um, you get to see me go through my scans, you know, how I vet my stocks, how I prepare for the open, and you'll get to see me trade the, the morning session. Um, I usually trade up until 11 o'clock, 10, 30, 11, depending on volatility. And, you know, then I go to lunch and come back for the afternoon session. That's usually what most traders do. So um, that's what I do. So you guys come hang out with me tomorrow. Uh, hopefully you can, you'll have a good idea of what every day is like in our community. So come check us out. All right, so yesterday, this, <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I, you know, I thought this was going to be good. I thought, sure, we were going to pull back to where we got up, how weak this thing was, and that it was going to pull back to the previous day. And it started to work, and then it immediately turned around, stopped me out. And so we made a lower high, and we started to sell off again, got below that opening candle. This is the five-minute opening range right here, got in, and then it immediately turned back around, stopped me out again. You know, so this didn't work when I wanted it to. Eventually, it made the move. I knew it was coming back here. Based on, you know, what it looked like. Well, I, I, didn't, I can't say I knew it. This, this was my thesis, that it was going to pull back, close this gap back up. But I anticipated it doing it at the open. That's what I was looking for. Maybe it would have closed half of it. I'd have been able to catch some profit. It bounced. Catch a rejection, get some trend continuation down, and catch it all the way down. Uh, unfortunately, it had more bounce to it. It actually slightly made a new high before it sold off. So, you know, this is another reason why just because the setup, the technicals are telling you one thing, it doesn't have to work when you want it to. I mean, it's gonna, it can work. It can take forever. It's just that this thing was so volatile and the swings were so big, it took me out. You know, even with 100 shares, I couldn't hold on to that. So it hit me for like 359.80 after commissions. So not a good day at all on, on this stock. Um, we did get one that was, you know, a, a nice uh, trend continuation here. I don't have the moving averages 
on here. So that's that's kind of the bad thing about this. But this was a trend continuation, you know, under the averages. Um, got short here. Got to the first target, you know, really nice. And then it bounced and took me back out. No follow through on it. And, but it was okay. You know, $156, nothing to sneeze about. Um, that kind of killed half of the loss I had. So I think yesterday, um, I know these are off a little bit because I get a rebate um, at the end of the day. Or I get a rebate, you know, it doesn't show up in, in my account until the end of the day. Um, but it was, I was red $198.17 yesterday. So, not a good, not a good day yesterday. Should have been a really good day. Should have been a really good day, but, you know, again, I just got burned on this. The move just didn't happen until you know, later on, and it, it made the move down. And by then, I wasn't engaged. All right, so, all right, here's the swing trade from yesterday. Um, I just printed this up today to show you, um, just printed this up today to show you the entry price right here but um no that's the current price 7371 that's why i entered yesterday here this is our our strategy our oversold strategy um and today it just kind of fizzled uh yesterday was a really strong move my first target on this is 76 next one's gonna be 78 um but it just fizzled today and was really disappointed. The market struggled today, so this kind of struggle too. So we'll look for it to pick up the pace and um, continue on. And then some of you asked about the the BA trade. This is a this is a totally fundamental trade. This was based on you know the bad news. This was the second trade I took on it. You know, I shorted it here when we were selling off earlier and, you know, got back in it over here and took half of it off on, when was that, the 10th? Yeah, back on the 10th. So after about a week, I, it sold off. I was able to take some. I'm really waiting it, waiting for it to get through this 360. It hasn't been able to get there. Uh, here was a slightly higher low bounce here. Um, but there's a descending uh, resistance here that this hasn't been able to break through. So as long as we can keep it below that, it can drop. Now, I was excited when earnings was announced today. It, it actually started to gap down and then it recovered. It bounced. And then, you know, it got weak throughout the rest of the day. So hopefully this can come on down. But totally a fundamental trade. This isn't the strategy that I normally trade. Um, total, just fundamentals based on news. You know, and we talk about these. These typically happen later in the day. So that's kind of when we talk about the news. And if it's a stock that, I think can sell off if you got some really devastating news that can spark a multiple day sell off then you know that's what I'm looking for on these but as they sh as they come up in in chat we'll t we we will talk about it all right so today here was incredible here was the trade you know opening range breakdown I know this line is a little bit off should be down here. It kind of got moved a little bit. But I got in it right on the break. Really nice sell-off. Hit my first target. Here was my second target, the pre-market low. 
and this is the double click. You can see um, it was it moved 17 cents in two seconds. I caught it at 137 and 137. First, it was at 137.17 and down at 137. Um, it was just a double click and took me right on out. But you can see how fast this thing moved in two seconds. It was amazing. But thankfully, you know, I got out and, you know, I was like, I'm going to get set up again once we get below this opening range low. I mean, not open range low, the pre-market low. This typically acts as a really good support. And you can see it did act as um, a good support right here. You know, three, four, five, 20 minutes, we couldn't crack it. Once we cracked it and got below this, made a new low, that's when I jumped in. Fully expecting this to work, okay? Because I was patient. I waited for all the riffraff. And my expectation was this was going to come down to 136, hit that next level. And I was going to be the hero today. And then it bounced. And I'm like, what the? And by the time it got around here, I realized I had the 50-day moving average in the wrong place. I had it somewhere up here when it was supposed to be right here. So I never would have taken this trade if I saw the, the 50 here. But this line was not here when I got in the trade. I thought I had a clean shot. And all through here, I was upset. I didn't know that this was here. I was getting mad at the market. I was getting mad at the dude who was camped out here. They kept buying this up every time it hit. It just kept getting bought up, bought up, bought up. And I was hot. I was hot. And, you know, that's when I, I kind of lost it. But, you know, later when I went back and I, I kind of did the reflection on this trade, I, um, you know, I, I looked at this and I was like, you know what? It's nobody's fault but my own. Nobody's fault but my own. Because I never should have taken this trade. And, you know, with the 50 sitting right here. This is where you buy for the loan. And had I seen it here, I probably would have bought it. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. But end of the day, I mean, kill my profits from this beautiful trade here. I think I added it up. I was, I was um, up over 300 bucks like $340, $350. And I gave it all the way back. The other thing I'm, I was mad at myself about is that I didn't stick to my stop. I changed. I I looked at this, this nine here and I was like, look, the nine is coming down so hard. Maybe it'll just reject this nine and come on back down. You know, and here, another, another broken rule sitting here changing my stock in the middle of a trade don't want to do that if you have a maximum loss uh, risk set up stick to it i don't give a damn what the chart says you gotta stick to your max loss stock because even though this chart was telling me weakness 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 look at what it did strength 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 And, you know, burn me up. So I lost $100 more than I should have. I still should have had at least $180, $200, you know, here on this trade if I had just taken it off when I was supposed to. So that was another thing that made me angry. I was angry at myself. I'm just angry at myself. That's it. All right. So. Nothing that's going to do it for me today. Remember, uh, if you're not a member of the community, we've got a live stream coming on YouTube uh, right here. 
just be here at 8.30 or subscribe so you can um, get the notice when I'm on, on live and you get to see exactly what we do um, every morning in our community. It's all about learning. You know, that's what it's about. It's about learning and growing. So you guys have a great night, a great evening, and I will see you in the morning.